Hello, my name is Dina Kleiman. In this video, we will discuss the SharePlex architecture, its processes and queues. We will describe how the processes work together to replicate data, and then we will look at each process and queue individually. First, let's take a look at the overall architecture. SharePlex for Oracle provides high-speed, log-based replication between Oracle instances on Sun, AIX, HP, Linux, and Windows platforms. The illustration on the screen explains the basic SharePlex replication process. On the source system, the capture process reads the Oracle archive or redo logs, then makes a copy of the data and sends it to the capture queue. The read process reads the capture queues and prepares the data for transport across the network and then places that data into the export queue. The export process transports the replicated data across the network to the target system. On the target system, the import process receives the data and sends it to the post queue. The POST process then reads the POST queue, constructs SQL statements for the operations, and applies them to the target objects within the target Oracle instance. Now, let's take a close look at the SharePlex queues and processes. The Capture queue resides on the source system. It helps SharePlex obtain data from the Oracle logs quickly and it holds the data outside the Oracle instance for further processing by SharePlex. There is one capture queue for each data source being replicated. In other words, one capture queue for each Oracle instance. In the config file, a capture queue is identified by the data source, for example, o.ora. The capture process reads the read logs or archive logs on the source system for changes to the objects listed in the active configuration. Capture writes the data to the capture queue where it accumulates until the next SharePlex process is ready for it. There is a separate capture process for each data source being replicated, each functioning concurrently and independently. The capture process is named SPOCAP and resides with the other SharePlex processes in the bin subdirectory of the SharePlex product directory. The read process operates on the source system to read data from the capture queue and add routing information to the data, then after processing the data it sends it to the export queue. There is a separate read process for each data source, each functioning concurrently and independently. By default, all read processes on the system share the same export queue. However, you may specify to create multiple export queues, and in this case, the read process will write to multiple export queues. The read process is named SPORDR and resides with the other SharePlex processes in the bin subdirectory of the SharePlex product directory. Notice that even though we have a capture queue and a capture process, there is no read queue. There is just read process. The export queue resides on the source system. It holds the data that has been processed by capture and read and is ready for transport to the target system. By default, there is one export queue on the source system regardless of the number of active configurations or target systems. However, you can instruct SharePlex to create multiple named export queues for more complex replication strategies. The export process operates on the source system to read data from the export queue and send it across the network to the target system. By default, a source system has one export process for each of its target systems. If there are two target systems, there are two export processes, and so on. 
Each export process controls transmission of all data from all configurations that are replicating from a source system to a target system. The export process is the first part of the export-import-transport pair, which moves data between systems over a TCP IP network. The export process is named SPXPORT and resides with the other SharePlex processes in the bin subdirectory of the SharePlex product directory. The import process is the second half of the export-import-transport pair operating on the target system to receive data and build a post queue. If there are two source systems replicating to a target system, there will be two import processes, and so forth. By default, import builds one post queue on a target system for each data source being replicated from the source system. The import process is named SPMPORT and resides with the other SharePlex processes in the bin subdirectory of the SharePlex product directory. Please note that for replication between Oracle instances on the same server, export and import processes are not created. Instead, the read process places data directly into a post queue on that system. The post queue resides on the target system. It holds data that is ready for writing to the target database. On each target system, there is one post queue for the replication stream between a source and target Oracle instance. For example, if source A and source B are both replicating to target C, then there will be two post queues on target C. You can instruct SharePlex to create additional named post queues for more complex replication strategies. A default post queue is identified by the name of the source system and the source and target Oracle instances. For example, source host name and in parentheses o.source.sid-o.target-sid. The final piece in the SharePlex architecture is the post process. The post process operates on the target system to read the post queue, construct SQL statements for the replicated operations, and apply them to target objects. There is a post process for each post queue on a target system, and multiple post processes can operate simultaneously on a system. The post process is named SP underscore OPST underscore MT and it resides with the other SharePlex processes in the bin subdirectory of the SharePlex product directory. In this video, we have discussed the SharePlex overall architectures and reviewed each process and queue in detail. Welcome to the SharePlex experience! Please check out our other SharePlex videos on specific SharePlex features. Thank you.